Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing week one of the League of July weekly challenge, premium challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. 465, optimal account balancing. So you're given transactions from to an amount. We turn the minimum number of transactions to require to sell the debt. Huh. Okay. Well, so... Um, some of this is just knowing literature, and I happen to know that this one is kind of very tricky to do. But the problem, the the thing is that um, you know there's only eight transactions, so that makes it slightly easier. Um, because then now, what is this stuff anyway? Because then now we we can do some sort of uh, basically crazy brute force, uh, and hmm. let me think about this for a second. No, I mean it's gonna be uh, brute force, but I feel like this this is the one that uh, this is the. This is the problem that won me a contest uh, on lead code. Um, basically, more or less about this one, but I think, for, but unlike that day and where I was probably way on, today I'm struggling to think or remember how I did it. Um, though that one I did know how to do, uh, but I think it's just a bit mask thing um, in that. In that you ask every um, subset of transactions and then ask if you can settle that in one transaction. And if you can, then yeah, then you can just minimize it over all the sub mask. And given that transaction is eight, I think we should be good. I think that's the idea, but man, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel like I should know this immediately, and I do recognize this as the problem in which I won the contest on, um, though not exactly the same way, but it's still. <laughs> a little bit rusty today, maybe. Okay, so yeah, so let's just say n is equal to the length of transactions, right? And then now we return, um, maybe say, get min of zero, right? Um, and this one we're going to use bitmask. Uh, I already kind of did a very brief overview of bitmask on the July 1st daily problem. I guess it's the same idea. So I don't want to repeat things literally on the same day. So definitely check out that problem and let me know if you have any questions still on bitmask. But the idea is that uh, a bitmask is an array of seen or a way of um, Boolean values. So yeah. And then now we have to do the get min function and then we have the current mask. Um, yeah. If mask is equal to do, 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 then we return zero because that means that we're done, right? Otherwise, we want, uh, yeah, so then now we do for m the current one is equal to do, 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 right? If and you could do this with the three to the n algorithm instead, but I, I'm a, I don't want to go over it, so <laughs> so we'll do the four to the n one instead, uh, but yeah. If M, da, 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 da. but do look it up if you're curious about it. If M is not used, then and, uh, maybe something like, I mean, we can do something like good of M, but we should pre-process this because, oops, because we know that, uh, so yeah, let's do that instead, right? Uh, but let, let's just leave this for now, but we should pre-process all of these so that we don't go from one to the end of them. But yeah, um, so best is you go to infinity for now, the base case. And then if this is good, then we do best is min of best uh, one plus get min of m, da, 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 use this, and then we return best. And that's pretty much the I entire idea, really. Um, we have to make some optimizations, we have to uh, do a caching thing, but that that's pretty much it. So basically, now we have to calculate whether, what's the good part, right? So the good thing is that we can figure out something in one one move, right? 
So, yeah. So maybe we have a, a mask, right? Like a, a good function, uh, can one transaction function, something like that. I don't know. That's a terrible name, but uh, of a mask. And basically, the idea is that we use that transaction. So now, um, yeah, so let's say we have a lookup table is equal to collections dot counter, right? Mm, I'm, I'm trying to think whether there is a. I think there is a way. Maybe I'm a little bit off on this one because there is a way in which this can be done in zero transactions. Right? Because, like, if they all net out to zero, then it sh the answer should just be zero. Right? All right, well, let's just write this function for now. And yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's a terrible name, but yeah. So then now for I in range of N, if mask, da -da 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 -da. Uh, Look up of transaction transactions of i of from zero. Uh, we add it to all right. Let's just say a b and c is you go to transactions of i, and now we have a da -da -da -da. and that should be good, right? And then basically the idea at the end is just that if, um, yeah, for K, mm, so basically we want to just return the number of keys left. And ideally, so if, okay, yeah, uh, non-zero is equal to um, look up that values. length of this uh, for x in the, or for v and da, 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 uh, if v is not zero right and then basically now we return this number maybe and then here maybe we put in two classes right so for for m in range of 1 to the n we want to say it um, of m, right? So let's just say this is equal to that. If v is equal to zero, that means that you can do zero transactions. So maybe we have a two things: zero is equal to do, 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 and then one is equal to do, 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 right? So then zero is dot append m. And then, yeah. And then if we is equal to two, meaning if one person pays the other, we do it here. I don't know that this is quite good. This feels weird to me, to be honest. But I guess technically this is once. But we want to do another one with zeros. Right, uh, let's run it real quick. Does this time out? It does. Oh, um, it's because this can be zero for some reason. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Let's make sure that. Is it zeros or is it? I never remember this one.
Okay, so zero. Is, uh, oh, this it is true that this can be nothing, and then one. Hmm. Why is this so? One and a two, right? So oh 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 oh, this is just minus one. What a typo. Okay, right. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we just have to remember to cash the mask. So of course, mask can go from zero to two to the end minus one. So let's cash that, right? Uh, so yeah, has cash is you go to force times two, and then cash is you go to none of this this length and yeah Wait, uh, if you've seen me done uh, What am I doing? I was gonna say it looks the same actually the same but I yeah, yeah. A lot of leaker bombs today, so maybe I just need to... Oh, no! Hmm. Yeah, like I said, today I'm not the same. So, so I put three, but you can do this in two. Maybe my assumption is wrong, man. Hmm. Because it's taking all individually, but actually, zero can pay two and three and just skip one as a middleman, right? Wow. I am like really weird about this one. Hmm. I thought that there's someone like this, but man. Maybe it wasn't the same problem. Maybe maybe I, I try to keep making the same one. But But yeah, maybe I can just do like payer is you go to the length where it is greater than zero, right? So the payer should Is it always the case? If there's one payer and two receiver, you can always be solved it that way. But if there are two payers and two receivers, it's not necessarily true that, you know. Wow, I really have no idea how to do this one. Maybe I, I I'm not gonna lie, I, I uh, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Wow, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know how to do this one. Or I mean, I know how to do. Uh, I have to, I still have the idea, but let me. I think I have to reset a little bit. Sorry, uh, sorry that I raised your time of fourteen minutes or whatever. Um, I have to reset a little bit. What is on right? Hmm. 
So there is a case, which apparently is this one, for example, that you may choose to read the two. Oh, well, here's some brute force, but not like this. Hmm. Mid Reaction. Mm. I mean, don't tell me it's max flow. Is it max flow? Max flow on. Um, what would it be on? It's not by part I matching. I mean, it kind of is, but I don't know that you can minimize the number of transactions from the max flow. The min cost by min cost max for Hungarian algorithm. Hmm. That seems very high power though. Sorry, friends. I I thought I knew this one, but I clearly did not. I think maybe there's some confusion on my part. Um, trying to figure it out a little bit. It is some kind of brute, uh, not brute force, but exponential, right? But I think clearly, clearly, I'm um, missing some part of it, right? <sighs> mm. The 12 people they say, maybe I could uh, take advantage of that. Basically, for each user that owes money. And then just pay some subset amount to pay off. But then you have to keep track of states and stuff. That's kind of hard, right? Hmm. Uh. Hmm. This is kind of right, but it's not in a general sense. I need another thing to kind of hmm. I thought that you can so the reason why I thought this way was that I thought you could build these components up from one transactions like you can merge them into one transaction but it seems like you know you, you, you should be able to merge them into uh, 
more transactions. Maybe I could take advantage of the fact this is eight. But man, am I struggling today. Hmm. Would this be just pay plus one or minus one rather? Uh, the number of things. There's one payer and two receiver. So that would be take two transactions. Four, two, maybe? I don't know if this is quite right. Also, because if this is right, then we don't need all this thing. We just kind of do this math with it, right? So this cannot be right. I think we do it with transactions of one component. I'm missing something. Missing an observation, I guess, now. I guess this should be right in a sense that if this is not and this could be bigger than that I guess I don't know hmm. Sorry, now I'm in playing around mode, so. Uh, was it C? No, and. Well, if they all net out, then it's just really zero. But I don't think that's the case, though. Oh, this is um, that's why. But why? Oh, three people. No, I mean, it should. Oh. But am I confident about it? To be honest, not at all. Give us a minute. Okay. So basically, this is the same thing, but with four instead of three. So that's going to go all the way. 
Man. Oh, yeah, man. So four people in, or five people in wealth, the dancer is three and it requires all of them. Because uh, two is paying three or something, okay. Uh. Huh, not gonna lie, I, I don't, don't know that I know how to solve this one anymore. I think I need it, like I said, I think I need a reset, but I'm not really doing that that well the last 10 minutes. Uh, how, Man, I have no idea. I'm missing something like really silly. All right, reset, reset, reset. Reset. Okay. I mean, it's going to be some brute force, given that it's just 12. I think it's some like... I mean, 12 times 12 is 144, but doing brute force of that is going to be too much, right? If eight transactions. Is it true that at most there's only six payers and six receivers? Still, like, I, I don't know. I don't know if that the 100 means anything either. Yeah, I'm really struggling with this one. Oops, one bun.
Yeah, I really have no idea. Sorry, friends. This is like the... I think this is the biggest struggle I've had in a long time. Uh, because you, you the, the problem is, is that you can partially pay off someone so it's tricky I'm trying to visualize everything in my head. So the worst case is going to be just the number of transactions. What is this one? Maybe I have to examine this one a little bit more. Actually, it looks a little bit funky. I don't even know how to brute force this. That's what I mean. I think this is a brute force solution, to be honest. Maybe. Or something close. I don't even know how to do it. So, how do you do it in three? Oh, I see. Then zero to three. You give four bucks instead, and then now two can give four, also four bucks, and then the additional one is just who receives an extra buck? Four, so one to four of one, right? Something like this. Hmm. How do you even force this? Ooh. It was five people, but you only need three transactions. And then you have to similar one, which is just this one uh, with this ring two, and that could be just two transactions because zero three four one four oh yeah one four four right. I think I messed this up actually. I don't think that's quite right. I think I, I thought this was a zero actually. Like that. So this isn't quite right, but still, that is another case that I would fail. So well, I don't want to, or that I have to, if I know, I have to understand it if I were to solve it. And this one, one, two. So four receives five bucks. So one to four to three has to stay, right? Probably. Actually, I have no idea what the solution is to do this and do it.
Football receives five bucks. Three receive four bucks. How do you even do this in three? <laughs> uh, oops. Don't even know how to do this manually. Let alone brute force. Do you give the money to two? I mean, you can, but. That does nothing, right? One, give the money to two. That's still four transactions. And then... Uh, So confused about this one actually. So zero is minus two, one is minus three, three is plus four, and four is plus five. How can you do this in three transactions? Did I miscopy any of this? How do I do this? In, maybe unlocking this is the key. Oh, and two is minus four. Oops, forgot that part. How do you do this in three transactions? I see. I see. Wow, that is a tough thing. Right? I see it. It's two cent to three, four bucks, zero to one and uh, two and... Oh, sorry, zero to four and two, zero, uh, one to four and three, right? Something like this. How do you get that from here? And that's the thing, right? Is it enough to do these? Maybe that's the part that I just kind of got confused about. But that's not in one transaction, right? That's one bunch. And that's what I was trying to do, kind of. Right with these things. Like that's one transaction, sure. How many transaction is these? Yeah, maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just kind of... No, because that... That's two transactions, right? So how do you how do you do that math? And that's what I was trying to do here, I guess, right? Uh, okay, that's it. Oops. Let's say payer is equal to this. And receiver is equal to this. 
right? And then maybe we want a max of payer receiver. Uh, or if payer is equal to one, then we turn receiver. If receiver is equal to one, we turn payer. Otherwise, what, what happens if you have two, two, right? Then you just maybe return infinity. I don't know if that's true. To be honest. That should at least work for that one, though. I don't know why it doesn't. Hmm. Because basically... Yeah. Actually, I don't know why this doesn't work for this one. Oh, because it's the subset of transactions. And given all four, this will return infinity. In so instead, just do individuals, then it's just one and one. Um, this is the... So we want to match to zero, one, and four, but, but there's no individual transaction that does that. It's just all ledger, right? I guess it's just, is it a bit masking that way? How can it be? How can it be? Maybe it is. I don't know. Let me try it then. Reset your mind. So now mask is going to be... Uh, the number ID, so... Okay, let's just say we have something like this. All right, let's say we have a general lookup. Yeah, I am struggling on this one. And then we just do for And now for the K and look up that keys if but you can't even do the matchup one at a time I don't think there could be something like uh, like a case could be something like I don't know three two four and it sums up to nine right so like you want like a uh three and six maybe no two and seven no five and four okay maybe this is a bad example so you have something like this and then you have a five and four and and none of these subsets match up with the other one right so you have to like look at it all together and then it ticks Maybe this part was right, but still. Uh. Oh, 
Wow, I don't know. This is the longest I've done one for a wow. Yeah, I have no idea how to solve this. I guess it's just the same idea, but then it's like two to the four twenty four. Mm -hmm. How do I like photo out? Um, I have to do it instead of I think I, I got it. Okay. I have to do it instead of people, right? I think that's right down. Uh, hmm. hmm. 
I don't even know how to move first to be honest. Okay, fine. Reset, 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 reset. What would the recursion look like before us? So then we just go calculate maybe we have the current index and then yeah okay and then basically for the current index we keep on finding money to give it to right so okay so if look up oh, uh, okay well basically what i'm doing now is just doing basic backtracking and then seeing whether just seeing whether i can get something from that so then uh okay so then now if Lookup of index is zero, and we continue. Actually, in fact, if it's less than zero, too, because we'll just assume someone gives me the money. Otherwise, we have to find people to give the money to, so we do a recursion. I give this money as this person as much money as possible. Uh, okay. So now this is the name. So the min of this and lookup of index. Lookup of index minus delta. So that's just backtracking. I get none from I'm returning none. Oh, I, I forget to return. So we're giving from lookup index to i. Uh, 
as much as we can. Uh, mm. Okay. So you give money to one for five. All right, let's put look up real quick. Oh, it's not N. It should be just twelve. Yeah, I mean we can we can do something with the ID, but I think for now uh, I'm just trying to show that it is right. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright, so now we got it right, but is it fast enough? Huh. Why, why do I have some print statements? Alright. It should time out. But it doesn't. It takes a long time, but it doesn't time out. That took a long time for me to figure out of it. I don't know that I believe that this is the intention though. I mean this is just backtracking. I thought it was gonna be some bit mask thing. Maybe I overcomplicated things, but I am I got a slow one though, so I feel like this isn't quite the intended solution. I'm not quite sure, to be honest, what the intended solution is. Yeah, so if you skipped ahead from the beginning, uh, well, you should have because this took a while. Um, But yeah, I mean, I just kind of did a backtracking and kind of worked. I feel like there's still a better solution, but. But basically what I do is that for each payer, I basically keep on paying someone in a very brute force kind of way as much as we can until their debts are paid and stuff. Um, the, the thing to note is that because there are only 12 items, um, that's mostly the cheap part oh sorry 12 people um it's almost like a weird before's hungarian matching thing except for the order that um does matter in which you kind of process them so i don't know not confident about this one sorry it's starting the month week but um uh, I, I need to take a break so that's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you did it. Let me know if there's a better solution. Um, I'll see you soon. So stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. Goodbye and take care. Doo -doo.